Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can simulate the nonlinear viscoelastic viscoplastic response of a Teflon seal using ANSYS Mechanical. So I have a very simple geometry here to illustrate the point. We have three parts. We have the seal in the middle here, uh, and I'm selecting that to be a nonlinear viscoelastic Teflon material. And then I have two steel parts on top and bottom and the groove in which the seal sits. I'm going to compress this down. And I'm going to look at the forces in the seal during compression. And that's the purpose of, of this demonstration. How would you actually re represent the nonlinear response of this material and how it relaxes over time? Uh, and then use that so you can design your seals or other Teflon parts properly. So I already created an ANSYS uh, simulation file here. It has a very simple structure. It's a uh, solid simulation. We have three parts, the lid, the seal, and the base. And uh, the interesting part here really is the material. Well, how should we represent this Teflon material in, in ANSYS and get good predictive capability? So what I will do here is I will show you how we can do that very quickly. I'm opening a window of M calibration, which is a software we can use to calibrate material model, but it also has one feature that I want to demonstrate here, and that is if you click on set material model, there is already a library of built-in material model that comes with the PolyU mod library. And there's one of them is the PTFE, Teflon. So I'm going to use this as my example, but there are other already calibrated material models that you can use here for various types of polymers. PTFE is a very nonlinear, interesting material. It uh, undergoes a significant relaxation uh, if it, it's given a chance. And that's really important to understand and capture if you want to have good predictions of your seal in the end. So that's going to pick the already calibrated material model that comes here with the PolyUmod library. This is a, an advanced viscoplastic material model that is for a generic PTFE material. And that's all I want to use in this example. So I'm going to say OK. And you'll see that here we have five parameters, none of which is related to the actual parameters. There is not the Young's modulus, shear modulus, yield stress, etc. That's already built into the, the library. So when you say 2001, that's the ID for Teflon. So if you want to see what this prediction, this material model uh, looks like, we can actually just do a virtual Example here with the unaxial tension at six different strain rates. Basically, evaluate the performance of this library material model for Teflon under these conditions. So you'll see that these are the stress strain predictions in tension. If you want to look at it in compression, you can explore all of that as well. But the purpose here is to demonstrate how we can take this model now and put it into ANSYS and get the predictions we need. So, how do I do that? Well, I have the model here. It's going to export this model. Uh, to the ANSYS format. There are two choices, APDL. I'm going to save it as an APDL file. And I can save it anywhere I like. I'm going to save it in temporary directory here. And uh, I can also save it as a uh, XML file, engineering data in Workbench. So I'm going to save it as that as well and save it on this temporary directory. And, and that's it. Once I'm back in Workbench now, uh, and in Mechanical, I can assign this uh, material to my parts. And there, there are different ways to do that. Uh, one, one easy way is to go to Engineering Data for your material. And then you go to File, Import Engineering Data, and then you select the XML file that we exported. I've already done that. That is the Polymer FM PTFE model that's listed down here, 2001, and here are the five parameters. Um, you can also reach this and use this material model directly from within Mechanical. Um, so here we see, first of all, the material uh, is here because it's in engineering data. Here are the properties. We can assign this to our parts as needed, but we can also do it using a command um, option here. And that's sometimes easier. I find it very easy to use, and I often prefer that. So here's the PTFE material that was created by M Calibration. You can see that it's TB, uh, user. 
and, and then TB data for the different parameters, and it has a density <clears throat> in case that's needed. And that's really all you need to do to assign this to the part of interest in your simulation. Um, then my answer simulation is as I typically set it up. Uh, I basically, uh, in this case, I, for simplicity, I made the steel rigid. Uh, doesn't really matter. You can do that or not. Uh, the PTFE is what takes the deformation in this case. That's why I have the remote points here. Then I assign uh, friction. Uh, I just pick the friction coefficient of 0 0.1 in this case. It's not critical for what we're doing. It's been squeezed down, so that it's not going to slide much. So the friction coefficient is not going to have a big influence on it. Um, I used uh, a contact tool to make sure that it's not uh, the, the contact is set up properly before the start of it. And then I used a very simple mesh for my parts. We can look at that when we're done. And uh, then I set up the analysis here. Uh, I set it up in two steps. So in step one, which is one second long, I squeezed the top down, squeezed uh, the PTFE seal uh, to the target uh, displacement. And then in step two, I, it's just 10 minutes relaxation. I'm holding this deformation in for 10 minutes to see how much the, the force it takes to push down to the target displacement changes to see also how the stresses changes during that time. PTFE, as I mentioned, is a very viscoelastic, viscoplastic material. It relaxes a lot. And uh, then I just have the boundary conditions, keep the bottom fixed, I move the top down. And uh, I added some uh, APDL commands here that sometimes are useful. Um, the first one is, is just to allow ANSYS to take a few more increments, uh, attempts per, per increment for a cut's time. In this case, that's not really that important. It doesn't make that much difference. I also instructed uh, ANSYS to save the state variables from the polyhumid library in case we want them. Uh, but I'm not going to go through that uh, in, in rest here. Then I just run it, uh, as one typically do, do. And the results are as, as, as expected. We have this. Uh, Cylindric lowering become quite flat as we uh, the seal sort of squeezes down, and we see the stresses are uh, at this point at the end of simulation about 18, 19 megapascals. The maximum value, look at that, it's 110. So it goes from 110 at, after one second, right when we squeezed it, and it relaxes a tremendous amount in this case, illustrating how important it is to predict. Um, the, include this relaxation effect when you study uh, Teflon type materials under these conditions where we have load uh, or in this case displacement sitting on the material for a long amount of time. You can also look at uh, forces, direction force is kind of interesting. If you look at the bottom here, it's our highest value is about 1765. The last value is about 300. Again, as one expected, the, the force required to push this down goes down a lot. <clears throat> in other words, the sealing capability of this uh, Teflon part uh, is due to relaxation is changing a lot, even in 10 minutes. <clears throat> we could, of course, simulate longer times if we want to understand 30 minutes, three months, three years, etc. All you need to do is to have a good material model for the Teflon. And uh, in this case, I used the polyumod PTFE model that comes in the polyumod library. It's already pre-calibrated -cali and suitable for generic Teflon. You can use this in any of your simulations. If you have your unique Teflon material that you're interested in, not just the generic one, you would need to experimentally test it and then calibrate a material model to that data, probably using the M calibration software and uh, any of the material models that are supported by ANSYS or the polyumod library. That's really all I want to talk about here to demonstrate how easy it is to use one of these pre-calibrated pre material models in the polyumod library and how much information you can get regarding the viscous relaxation that is so important for Teflon PTFA type materials. If you have any questions, ask them below. Thank you.